Well, our next segment is about living green and clean. So you thought I didn't know. That's right, with <laughs> MSD. Yes. And they're putting on their third annual oh, yeah. uh, conference for contractors and MBEs mm -hmm. and WBEs in order to connect them with primes to help them to look at over $80 million wow. yeah. in services and projects that are out there in the community. So take a look at this. I'm here with Tony Parrott with MSD. He is the CEO and we're back for another year and back with another Can You Dig It? So tell us about this and why it's so important to the community in year three and even getting bigger and better. It is. Uh, every year we like to start out and let the community and the contractors know the type of work that we're going to bid every year. And uh, it's been very successful for us because we're getting the word out, we're getting more bidders on our contracts, we're getting more opportunities for small businesses and minority owned businesses. And uh, uh, our capital program supports uh, about 3,000 uh, construction jobs on an annual basis. So we're adding to our contract requirements a local labor uh, utilization requirement. So not only are we benefiting the community by giving uh, opportunities for construction contracts, but we're creating jobs as well. Okay. And the number that out there is $80 million in contracts and services. Is that an all-time high, or, or where does that rate? It's actually a very medium number for this year. We bid out uh, uh, approximately $300 million worth of contracts last year. Okay. And so this year we're kind of regrouping uh, to uh, bounce back for you know uh, FY19 and beyond. As you know, we've been talking about our 20-year critical repair plan, which is gonna stretch out over the next 20 years. And those uh, uh, projects are gonna average about $200 million a year for the next 20 years. You know, speaking of the MBEs, which is why we're here today, they are a very important part of UL's business model. So talk a little bit more about that. Well, you know, the uh, supplier diversity policy that we have encourages the utilization of uh, minority-owned businesses. Uh, our goal is 15% on contracts for minority-owned businesses and 6% for women-owned businesses. And uh, we've been very successful since uh, July of 2014. We've uh, expended approximately $120 million on uh, small businesses, minority-owned businesses, and women-owned businesses. So the program is working, and so uh, small businesses are getting an opportunity to uh, build their companies, and then in some cases we have small businesses that are now actually hiring and expanding, and so uh, it's really a good formula. We are here for the third annual MSD Can You Dig It event, and I'm here with Sharice Horn, and you are the MSD Procurement Manager, and welcome back to Urban Lifestyles, and tell us a little bit about this event and your role in it. Sure. Again, I am Procurement Manager. This is the third annual Can You Dig It event primarily hosted for contractors in our community to understand and uh, to get the understanding of the MSD projects and the Louisville Water Co Company projects that are forthcoming. All right, now tell me about the $80 million contract that's out there that's going on. So we have various projects coming out this year through the pipeline. We'll uh, uh, give that information out later on in our presentation, but one of the larger projects we have is the Rowan Street and Downtown uh, Interceptor Project, estimated about $25 million. So that will be coming down the pipeline really soon, the next couple of weeks. Great opportunity for contractors, great opportunity for subcontractors. So in a perfect world, what is the main message that you want these contractors to take away today? That we are all are um, valued in this community, we are all part of the community, and we are a huge economic impact in our community, and we can all make a difference. Okay. Now, I know you have three of your contractors that are here today. Tell me a little bit about them and their roles. So we have our... Uh, a prime uh, design build contractor, Ullman and Schulte, they're okay. building the Southwestern uh, Basin project. They have been a huge impact in our community. Uh, they have brought along two other contractors and many other contractors, but two in particular. Um, they have given them opportunities to work on the job site, which has in turn helped them bring in other uh, folks to work on the projects, which is huge. All right, so this is a good time for me to pivot and talk to them. Absolutely. So you don't go anyplace, I'm gonna go and talk to them. Okay, All thanks. Right. All right, so you are one of the, th these are the three contractors that are here today, and I'm starting with Joe Scott, who is an MBE, and then this is Eric Mester, who is a prime, and also, can't see that far, Robert Springfield, also an MBE. And I'll start with you, Eric. Tell us the role of a prime. So our role is to uh, build MSD's projects. We're very excited about JobLink. Uh, we're very happy that MSD's chosen to pair the local uh, workforce with its contractors. And it, uh, it demonstrates MSD's uh, 
desire to see their community succeed. Now, as uh, minority contractors, how do you see what you offer fitting in and what's your specialty? Well, our specialty is a, a concrete work. And uh, actually what's happened is with this as a contractor, this has helped me to uh, uh, hire native Louisville's, uh, keeping the dollars in the community, and got opportunity through Umi and Schultz has hired me, which in turn helps me hire people and resource job link to get my people. And tell me about your role and your specialty. I'm um, Springfield Plumbing. We are plumbing and mechanical piping contractors. We're excited about the projects that are up and coming, and especially JobLink, because we are going to get a pool of employees from JobLink. I'm here with Chella Subram, who is another MBE with MSD. That's Welcome fine. to Urban Lifestyles, and tell me a little bit about your partnership with MSD. Thank you. So we are a local company uh, founded in uh, 2003. Okay. So, so we're about completing our 15th year in okay. business. And uh, so our relationship with the MSD, when I was an engineer before I started the company, okay. uh, so it goes back to 1995. So long standing relationship okay. with the MSD as working with engine MSD staff and MSD projects and uh, uh, as a local and also starting a business as an MBE. Um, yeah. MSD has been great for us. Okay. Uh, good relationship building plus uh, through that opportunities so we uh, strive to do consistently, strive to do a good job for MSD, okay. and they recognize that. And then so, so it gives us a lot of opportunities and uh, for us to hire good talents, okay. you know, local talents as well. So, uh, so it's a great relationship. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the services that you're bringing to MSD as an MBE. That's a right. lot of acronyms here. No, absolutely, <laughs> right, 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 absolutely. <laughs> So, so I'm, I'm a structural engineer by education and experience. So, okay. And uh, so we're, we're uh, primarily a structural engineering consulting firm. Okay. And so we design above ground and underground structures. Mm -hmm. And uh, by, I, when I say above ground for MSD, uh, we have been involved in multiple plant expansions, uh, water uh, treatment plant expansions and a retrofit design. Um, all, all that kind, you know, design and during construction, we do construction uh, management services. You know? Well, as you can see, they had over 300 people that were there just mm -hmm. trying to figure out how they could connect, how they could get a piece of some of these different projects that are coming to the city. I love it. Yeah. It's getting it out there where everybody can have some skin in the game, right. all due to MSD. Right. And you definitely, hats goes off to them, Tony Parrott and all yeah. the, the people that are there because they are really bringing partnerships together, yeah. partners that wouldn't probably naturally happen, mm -hmm. but because of their work, sure. their investment in the community, mm -hmm. making sure that great things happen. It is what it is. Right. And speaking <laughs> of great things that happen, we have to talk about our good friend Rodney Carter, oh, because yeah. uh, if you have a great show idea, what should you do? Contact us. That's right. And you can contact <laughs> us at www.urbanlifestyles.net, mm -hmm. and that's Lifestyles with the Z. And if we happen to use your show idea, you mm -hmm. could win a free oil change from Rodney Carter at Jeff Wilder Toyota. And of course, if you're in the mood for a new or pre-owned vehicle, go by and see Rodney and tell him that Urban Lifestyles sent you. Yes. We'll take another break mm -hmm. and back with more right after this.